Now, you know, the first thing that happens when you go to the physician's office is he asks you for a urine sample. Now, what do they do with that urine? How do they test it? And what are they testing for? Today, we're going to find out what happens to your urine specimen. What tests they perform on your urine test? And what's in this anyway? Come on, let's see. Here we are in the laboratory, and it's kind of loud in here due to all the machines that are running. Uh, we have uh, the multi-stick, which is the reagent we use to check the urine. These consist of strips, which are called reagent strips, just like this. There are little pads on the strip. These pads, each one has a reagent or a chemical in them that reacts with the testing that you're checking for in the urine. When it reacts, it changes a color depending on how much of that chemical in the urine you're checking for. We then use a color chart on the bottle for each test. Like so. And you would check the color on the reagent strip and match it to the color on the bottle. This is after you put this strip into the urine. Now this is the old method of doing it. The new method is similar except we have a machine now that actually reads the color on the strip at the proper time. That is much more accurate and most hospitals and labs now use the machine to check the color so that it can tell you what chemicals are in the urine. This particular testing checks for glucose, bilirubin, ketones. It checks the specific gravity, whether there's blood in the urine, the pH of the urine, protein in the urine, urobilinogen in the urine, nitrites in the urine, and leukocytes. On the video on the urinalysis, it explains the significance and what each of these tests are. Now we will look at the machine that does the testing and then we will show you how the testing is done. Okay, here we are with the machine now that checks the urine. Here are 